Early results from Tuesday's presidential primary election indicate that Democratic incumbent Josh Harder and Republican challenger Ted Howes will face off in the November general election, once again pitting two Turlock candidates against each other in the race for Congressional District 10. As of Wednesday, all of District 10's precincts had partially reported their results. Harder led the way with 39.8% of the vote, or 29,683 votes, while Howes trailed behind with 27,987 votes, or 37.5% of the vote. In California, we had about half the votes counted in 2018 on election night in this district. I think there's a lot more left to come, and so we'll see. No matter who our opponent ends up being, I think it's going to be all about the energy and the dynamism of the grassroots folks that you've seen tonight. Uh, it's really encouraging. I mean, it shows us that we've had a big turnout of our supporters, which is what we've worked for. You know, knocked on over 65,000 doors, made over 50,000 phone calls, and we've worked hard for the last two weeks to turn our voters out and get them to actually turn their ballots in, and that looks like tonight that we did a pretty good job of doing that. In Stanislaus County, the two were almost deadlocked as of Wednesday. Harder led with 22,169 votes compared to Houses' 21,963 votes. Both ran for Congress for the first time in 2018 and shared the differences between their campaigns then and now. I'm pretty proud of the record that we've accomplished. Uh, the, most, the highest number of bills with a Republican uh, 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 sponsor in Congress out of any Democrat in the country and passing really critical legislation like the first water funding we've had in 50 years for a new project in the Valley. And I think that's the record that we're going to take uh, all the way to November. In the first time we worked really hard, but we didn't know all the ins and outs of a first-time congressional candidate. This time we hired a professional staff, we've had good management, and we've coupled all that great work ethic with some guidance. So it, I think that's worked out. As of Wednesday, Democrats had received 44.9% of District 10 votes, while Republicans grabbed just over 55%. Tuesday night's early results will fluctuate as more ballots are counted. Still, Howes and Harder are both confident they'll advance to November and plan to campaign on issues important to the Valley. Well, I think the goals in office are to continue to deliver on the issues that matter most in the Valley, to make sure that everybody, even if they already have insurance, can afford to go see a doctor. We have to lower the cost of drugs. We have to make sure we're getting more doctors into the Valley. We have to make sure that we're attracting more high-paying jobs. I sit on the Education Committee. One of my bills is to create more federal scholarships for trade schools and other opportunities, and we have to support the Valley economy, which makes sure that we're continuing to push on the water funding that we got done last year and continuing to get that across the finish line. Our goal for November is simple. It's to continue to spread our message talking about the issues that are important in the Valley. For me, I think the thing I'm proudest of is having the endorsement of 10 of the 13 elected mayors in the district, and that tells you that the people that have the most direct influence over local residents daily quality of life say they want to work with Ted House. And so we're going to continue to push that as a positive message and we're, I'm really proud that we've run a positive campaign and we're going to try to stick with that.